First of all, a little public service announcement about tool abuse. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of comments about this being tool abuse, and yeah, it probably is. But having said that, um, this is more of a curiosity experiment than anything else. I wanted to find out if it would work. So I took a skill saw and added a water line to it so I could run a masonry blade in it. And this is just a Harbor Freight masonry blade. And yeah, it does work. Um, it's just gravity feed through aquarium airline tubing. And this bucket is sitting on top of another bucket now because it wasn't feeding quite enough water. Uh, and it does work. Matter of fact, I think what I'll do now is uh, a quick little uh, walk around and show you what it's done so far and then we'll show you how it works. So first of all, you see all kinds of tools laid around. This is my typical mode of operation, at least two projects going at one time. Um, so, so far I've sawed slot all the way front to back and two slots crossing this way halfway across the shop and I had cars sitting over there so I couldn't finish them. So I've got the lines drawn out for the rest of it. And if we follow this line all the way to the back, this was done two days ago. Follow it all the way to the back and it already worked. So there was some stress in the concrete and that did give it a place to relieve the stress at. Right, um, this is 14 feet from the wall behind me right now and it's 14 feet to this cut. This one's only seven feet from the door. The reason that this cut is only seven feet from the door is because that puts it a good distance away from the lift bolts and so I'm not sure if I might do another cut eventually somewhere about here so that it's about four feet off of that post but I don't know if I need any more this will be the biggest piece of concrete and it'll be 14 by 8 and that one will be 14 by 8 without a cut so anyway let's get back to uh, running this thing and I'll show you how it works. Um, it's probably not as fast as a commercial grade saw, but it does work. Like I said, it's done about 75 feet of cut so far.
So with only a couple of feet left to go, I've kind of been taking it easy on it because I didn't want to tear the blade up or you know wear it out too fast and not have enough blade to finish the job. But I've got about two and a half feet, three feet left to cut and uh, let's just see, I mean not pushing it to the limit, but I want to see how quick it'll cut. And uh, I'm going to push it a little harder here for the last few feet and see how quick it'll cut without overloading the saw or anything like that. That moved along pretty good. Just like to add something to that. Um, this is uh, one of those don't try this at home things. Um, water and electricity don't really mix. Um, I make sure my cord connections are up out of the water, stuff like that. Like I said, for me, this is just an experiment. I had to try it, see if it would work, and it works. Actually works a little bit better than I thought it would. Uh, I didn't think the blade would last halfway through this job. It looks like it's gonna finish the whole thing. And uh, the other thing is it does work to cut stress relief cracks in concrete after it's already cured because this has been here five weeks now, I think, but uh, five or six. And uh, as you saw with the picture I shot, I'll show it to you again. Um, it actually cracked on the stress line because there was already stress in it to, to give up. So it works to cut it late. All right, well, thanks for watching.